everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to you all to Travel Blog Jamie. This is part 2 of my Ottoman Odyssey cruise with Morella on board their ship Discovery. What do you mean what happened to part 1? You've missed it my loves, let's rewind. <laughs> And here's the continuation. Let's do this. Coming up today in part two. It's a port heavy episode as we explore the Turkish island of Boscada, the Turkish port of Bodrum, and the Greek port of Heraklion Crete. And of course, don't worry, we'll be spending some good quality time together on the ship herself, Morella Discovery, with all of this to come as well. Yes, my darlings, there's a lot to get through. And here's a quick reminder about this week's itinerary. You are joining me on day four. Oh my goodness me, good morning everybody. I had a great night's sleep again in this cabin, cabin 6006, very nice quiet location. Uh, and much needed lying until 9 a.m. today. I love that there's no rush. We are at Boscada Island, Turkey today. I had never heard of it before this cruise. Now, a tender is required to go ashore, uh, meaning you essentially take one of the lifeboats, not yourself, obviously it's driven for you. Uh, there's a ticketing service, so I need to go to the Squid and Anchor once I've had my breakfast, of course. Squid and Anchor is one of the lounges on board take a ticket and then I'll be called when it's my turn to board a tender and head ashore. It looks a little bit choppy out there and I've just watched a couple tenders bouncing around. So I'm wondering if A, we're gonna make it ashore or B, I'm gonna have a fantastic, fantastic bumpy ride. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, let's have a look outside, shall we? Well, by all accounts, you're not going to find many tourists on this island of Boscada. Just us, of course, swarming on in. Look at how the tenders are bouncing. <laughs> oh, please don't stop the service. I want to have a go at that. Ooh, bouncy. The White Horses of Boscada. Boscada has an area of 37 square kilometers and a population of 3,120. Located off the western coast of Turkey, the island has a Mediterranean climate. Atrium life, it's so grand, it's so glitzy, it's so big. And from high, 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 high above, all right, Island's Buffet breakfast for me today. Make sure you do those filthy paws of yours. We've got an omelette chef as well, hallelujah. Pancakes, sausage, bacon, breakfast potato, fried bread, mushrooms, baked beans, obviously. We've got an assortment of pastries and muffins. Some very nice looking bread, actually. Mixed fruits and yogurts, fresh fruit, smoked salmon. Blech. There's a deli section with cheese and meats. Oh, me buzzer's going, me omelette's ready. Ta da! As busy as it can get in here, there does seem to be plenty of space to walk around and not be too bun fighty. Help yourself to hot and cold drinks up here. There's an out door seating area of the buffet and again more hot and cold drinks help yourself as in part one i'll be using this handy little infographic to rate my plate yes i'll be rating every meal on board morella discovery 
the homemade omelettes on board are fresh and flavoursome and my goodness I'm a sucker for those potatoes and light force of course otherwise you'd be suffering right now I tell you alrighty let's see if I can get a ticket to ride for my tender I got a ticket so um, different number ranges will be called when your tender is ready um, welcome to the squid and anchor by the way um, show lounge Capitan had to up the anchor and move a little for more favorable sea conditions so that we can operate the tenders. I love that he's trying so hard to make sure we get ashore. Clearly the passengers aren't so optimistic because it's chockers up on deck. I think a lot of people have just given up and decided they're gonna spend the day out in the sunshine by the pool. And who can blame them? I wanna go ashore though. I want the ride of my life on that tender. I want the ride of my life on that tender. I want the pride of my life on that tender. The pride of my life on that tender. Do you still love me? I love you. Mm. Right, let's grab a nice coffee from my beloved coffee pot while we're waiting for the tender. No, Jamie, please. Jamie? Jamie? Yes, that's me. Hi. Thank you so much. Cheers. Right, I'm not here on board for lunch, but if I were, I might come to the main dining room. Here's a look at that all important lunch menu. And it is important. Right, I'm ready. The inside of a lifeboat. And about 15 minutes later, we made it. Hello, baby. Just to the right of where you disembark the tender, there's a swimming area. You can use the seating area, the lounge is there, as long as you've bought a drink as a minimum. Wowzers, makeshift changing area and showers here. Not sure if those showers are working. Oh, there's crabs down here. Oh, uh, the sea is a good temperature. I could get straight in that. Loving the look of these bars, cafes, and restaurants here. And look at all these little nooks and crannies, all shaded areas out of the heat and the sunshine. So pretty, gorgeous. How utterly charming it is here, folks. Oh, I found somewhere that does cold brew. Might pop in there before getting back on the tender. Not everywhere here accepts uh, debit or credit cards, by the way. There is a cash point pretty much just behind the fortress. Okay, to enter the fortress, it's just 30 Turkish lira. Now then, it's about 42 Turkish lira to the pound. So less than a pound to get in. I'd say that's pretty good value. I'm so sorry, this is a castle, not a fortress, built before the 14th century. Take the drawbridge, take the drawbridge. There's even a moat of 820 feet. Quaint old refreshment stand here. There are two sections of interest, the bailey and citadel. Within the citadel, there are cisterns, an arsenal, an infirmary, a well, a mosque, and various rooms. Wowzers, this really is a stunning place. Even if just for the views, awesome. Oh, now then, can I navigate those in flip-flops? Of course I bloody can. You just watch me go. Oh, I made it. Of course I made it. Wowzers.
Been waiting for ages, but she won't bloody get off. Oh my goodness, look at this, it's stunning. Wow, look at it. Sometimes you've got to get lost to find yourself or something wet like that. Anybody else getting Rapunzel vibes or is it just me? Well, I do apologize for saying PD in that last vlog. Uh, thank you very much. It's Pida. He said. It's also about three times cheaper here than it was in Istanbul, by the way. I'm watching you as well. All right, I imagine there's a cover charge to eat here because they've just brought this out for me. It looks gorgeous. And help yourself to bread at the end of the table. Well, I think you help yourself to bread. No one speaks English here and my Turkish is very rusty. Wow, look at that. It smells amazing. These are stunningly good. I know I can't live off them, but I might do just for the week. All right, so we're having to wait a little bit for our tender uh, back to the ship because the captain has had to move Discovery a little bit. Again, getting choppy. And we've just been told it's going to be at least one more hour. Alrighty, an hour later and they are boarding again. Phew! Well, you can't even see the end of the line. It's all the way back there. Look at that. Coming around with water, that's good, isn't it? Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, I love that kind of thing, don't I? I haven't got off yet though. I'm back. And who have we got here? I'm gonna call this one Victoria from Lost to Shore. Alrighty, quick summary from today so far. Well, Bozkada, Turkey, what a beaut of an island. An absolute hidden gem. I know I'm not supposed to say that sort of thing because then everybody will go there. But really, what a truly beautiful island. Lovely people, great food and the scenery. Oh, I fell in love with Boscada. However, I've been checking the weather forecast for the last couple of weeks and it seems like uh, this area does get quite a lot of wind and it makes me wonder, given the delays uh, going ashore this morning and two hours to get back onto the ship from um, land, whether or not this is a suitable uh, port for tendering. I don't know, of course I don't. All I'm saying is the forecast for the next 10 days also shows quite strong winds. That's for Morella to decide, not me. I'm just making an observation. Alrighty, let's enjoy a little bit of balcony life. Why not? Be rude not to. <sighs> to the coffee port. Oh my beloved, I've missed you today. Take me up, god damn it. Early evening pool time. Honestly, it's the best time of day to come up here. Gorgeous. 
Uh oh, it looks like we've got engine failure on one of the lifeboats. You're nearly home. I think we're going to be leaving about three to four hours late. I wonder if that will impact on our arrival into Bodrum tomorrow. No doubt Capitan will let us know. And we're on the move now, folks. About three hours later than scheduled. That must mean it's time for a drink and food, surely. Oh my goodness, I am so easily distracted, aren't I? I'm thinking, oh, do I need another aftershave? Probably. Or maybe I need some new clothes. Oh, they have super dry now. I got that one. I got that one. I don't, oh no, I don't like that one. And um, that's not bad, is it? Oh, that's an interesting color. Or maybe some souvenirs. Some of these are actually really nice. Look at this, look. Voyage, explore, discover. Perfectly said. Oh, that's tempting, isn't it? I am not giving in. No, no, no. A bit of atrium chill, some light music, guitarist, singer, noise. Oh, well, that looks like a double. I'll take that, lady. Thank you very much. Cheers, everybody. Strong AF. I love you and you and you and you, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the funniest. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> that was so funny. I was literally walking by, and then this couple started singing to me. People are so kind. It's time to eat. I fancy a little bit of Gallery 47. This is the Italian main dining room included in your cruise fare. All right, table 372, I've been told. I'm ready for you. In we go. That's the other main dining room down there. The traditional main dining room, shall we call it. That looks like my table right there. Thank you so much. Oh, nice views. Not a bad view at all, eh, folks? Right, let's check out this menu, shall we? The primi piatti. What to have? What would you have, by the way? Secondi piatti. Again, what would you have? What do you reckon I'm gonna have? And the contorini dolci e caffè. Or something like that. I know what some of you are like. You'll watch like three hours worth of content and the only thing you'll pick up on is my terrible Turkish, my terrible Italian. That's all you'll pick up on. I'm judging you. Here you go, olive oil and vinegar. This uh, for dipping your bread. All right, thank you very much. Didn't have the heart to tell him I don't like olives, but I do like the oils and the bread. This member of staff literally just sat opposite me and said, oh, I might have a Bacardi and Coke. I'm like, you can have it. I've got a drinks package. I've got premium, have what you want. Honestly, this is so friendly. I love the crew on here. I absolutely adore them. I want to take them home with me. Do you reckon they come home with me? Thank you very much. I'm not drinking tonight, by the way. Cheers. Ooh, that focaccia with that charred onion looks awesome. Red stick as well. Lining up the drinks nicely. I'm not drinking though. Ooh, look how the breadstick glistens. <laughs> little brush of olive oil. Very excited about this charred onion. Mmm, <laughs> all right. Alrighty, arancini for me to start. Let's see what these look like inside. Probably rice. Oh, okay, I'm getting good wafts of cheese there as well, my darlings. Yummy, stringy cheese. Mm. That's really good. Loving the crispy breadcrumbs. Rice is cooked well. Lovely stringy mozzarella in the middle. And this tomato, very rich. Thank you. Grazie. All right, I've gone with the penne alara, oh Jesus, arrabbiata. And they've added extra chili for me. Yes. Over here, I've got some deep fried courgette and potato with a little bit of softened onion. Did I just say softened onion? What a ridiculous thing to say. Let's do this. Oh, <laughs> just gone on my lap. Oops. Oh, al dente. Oh, fire. Yes, love it. Can you see all the extra chili? I love you, Morella. Thank you for doing that. It's actually really good, you know, very flavoursome. Very impressed with that. This is what happened to my lap and why you need serviettes, napkins, etc. Uh-oh. 
proof is in the pudding or pasta. I thought that was a really successful pasta dish. By the way, tailored shorts are acceptable here in the main dining room, as proven by my good self. And I am abiding by the rules, so if you don't like it, that's tough. Oh, I can never say this word when I've been drinking. A saxophonist, is that right? I know some of you wish you could play an instrument that well. Oh look, I've arrived into bar 11, as if by miracle. I think this is my favorite bar, you know. And since my taste buds have really matured, I am gonna get a smoky old fashioned for the second time this cruise. Ooh, stars. A reminder that I covered everything you need to know about drinks package versus premium drinks package in part one. But a quick reminder of those smokies. Theatre. Awesome. Oh. Thank you very much. Well you see, I'm a grown up now. Oh, that is strong. I can handle it. I can handle you as well. We've got movies under the stars. I can't see any stars actually. Alrighty, it is nearly time for Betty Pools. No pooing in bed. I've got quite an early start tomorrow for my Bodrum Safari. I wonder if I'm going to see any animals on this safari. I don't think so. Shh. Okay, it's time for the single song. You have got to guess which song I am singing. And then you've got your comment below, okay? One, two, three. <sighs> like that lovely gent said earlier in the atrium, I bloody love you, 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 but not mm, you. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. We are just sailing into Bodrum, Turkey. Bodrum is a city on Turkey's southwest coast featuring twin bays with views of Bodrum Castle. Its area is 650 square kilometers and has a population of 193,000. Right, let's start off the day in the islands. Buffet-a-rama. Just some fruit, yogurt and pancake for me. We are coming in. Not before, a little bit of life force, of course. Good morning, my darling. Did you sleep well? You didn't fancy coming and sharing a bed with me? No? It's coming up for 9am. Plenty of loungers around the pool, on a port day in particular. Here's a peep at some of the Morella excursions on offer for today in Bodrum. I opted for the Bodrum Safari. Booked on board, it's £51 booked in advance of your cruise. It'll be just a few pounds less. Come on, let's do this. I'm like a rose between two thorns. Ooh, shiny. Don't forget I covered all facts and figures about Morella Discovery in part one. You've only got yourself to blame if you didn't watch. Right, these look like the trucks I need. Safari. Hold on to something. Let's do this. <laughs> Folks, I wasn't joking when I said you'd need to hold on. This is a pretty active and at times turbulent excursion. If you have reduced mobility, I would question whether this is suitable. The coastal roads can also get a little bit hairy. If you suffer with vertigo, mm, I'm not sure this is for you either. Okay, I've got a top tip for you. Sit 
on the left hand side if you want the coastal views on the right where i am you've got views of people's heads <laughs> Right, we've got a little pit stop cafe here. Scorcho. Look at this, they even offer zip lining for just five euros. I'm doing this. Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> this is the awesome instructor. <laughs> My name is Sefem. <laughs> <laughs> Come and do the zip line here. Whoa! Here we go again. Hold on to that phone. Woo! Well, I think that was pretty good value. Five euros is about 240 Turkish lira, by the way. tree is a tree believed to have special religious or spiritual value. People come to these trees to make offerings to have a wish granted. The offering is usually ribbon or writing a small piece of paper with a wish written on it. Well this is what is referred to as Turtle Lake. Actually I can see a lot of heads poking up. I wonder if they'd like some food. Oh there's one. <laughs> can you see the heads popping up? Baby, I see you. Hello, baby. What is that? Is that pomegranate? I wish I could tell you where we were right now, but I've got no idea. I did ask our driver and he called it Carpet Village. <laughs> I've got no signal either at the moment, but you know what? Wherever you go, there you are. That's so corny. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like stuffed pizza and some sort of deep fried balls of doughy goodness. <laughs> looks like some onion cheese, I think. And herbs. Mmm, delicious. Oh, hello, you. Oh, here they all come. They want my doughy balls of goodness, don't they? Are you after my balls? Turkish tea, of course. Cheers, everyone. I wasn't sure about it's hot. I'm not much of a tea drinker. It's delicious, though. Maybe I could be converted. Imagine I stopped drinking coffee in favour of tea. That's not me singing, by the way. So those delicious snacks and the Turkish tea are all included in your cost of the day. Uh, you want any extra drinks, you're gonna pay for them, but minimal. And they accept euros here, as well as Turkish lira. Oh, I've just seen this sign. Maybe that's where we are. Oh, I wish I could read Turkish. Next stop, olive oil factory. And I've just seen the word iced coffee and I'm thinking, can I bypass that and go and have an iced coffee, please? Ah. Holy shit. A lot of very important machinery that I don't understand. Okay, which ones to taste? I want something with chili. There it is. Come on, blow my head off. 
All right, that is actually very spicy. Now let's wash that one down with the mandarin olive oil. Never had that before. Mmm. Oh, well, that comes through really well. Delicious. And I want to try the lavender one. Tastes like lavender. I'm used to spraying that over my pillow, but I'm not used to eating it like that. That's a no. And for those of you wondering, it's about 32, 33 degrees Celsius today. Scorcho! Well, this is apparently the mud bath. I'd rather bathe in a vat of sugar-free rebels. I'm back. That was about a five hour tour. Oh my God, they look like they're humping. B-O-B, back on board and straight to Coffee Port for iced coffee. I'm gagging. And then I'm going to freshen up and head back out because I want to see Bodrum as well. I want you to see it. I'm good to you. I'm really good to you. Alrighty, are you ready for this walk into Bodrum? Let's do this. Right, well, the good thing about being in Bodrum today is we don't have to be back on board until 7.30 p.m. A rose between two thorns. Five minute walk from the ship and our first beach area. It's a pebbly, rocky one, but there are people enjoying the sea nonetheless. And along this part of the beach, you can hire yourselves a lounger, parasols. I haven't seen prices yet, I'm afraid. I imagine they make it up depending on uh, how busy it is in season. And the beach widens a little bit the further you walk along the promenade. And the promenade is lined with beach bars, restaurants, cafes. Oh, that is so refreshing. None too shabby a walk, I must say, along this promenade. They've also got some kiosks dotting the promenade where you can get tickets for boat trips. Here's one. And it looks like you can take the promenade all the way around this bay. The hunger. Blimey, that's me pretty much all the time. Definitely resembles a few people I've seen around today. And it goes on and on and Ariston. Shady street for shopping. When I say shady, I don't mean dodgy. I love how all these bars and restaurants literally fringe the water's edge. You literally cannot get any closer to the water's edge without being in it. Easy peasy. Um, what a beautiful evening it is, folks. Oh, look at us. Hey, Discovery. Oh, we're zooming in. We're heading here tomorrow, Herak. Oh, 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 oh. Extreme zoom. Well, I'm going to do things a bit differently this evening. I'm absolutely cream crackers. So here I am in the buffet. I'm actually thinking of getting just a small amount here. <laughs> and then maybe going back to my cabin, putting a film on and getting, well, room service. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got tonight. Salad items. And I'm not one for salad, but this does look like a good selection. In the deli section, we've got different types of cold cuts and cheese. Oh, there's a terrine there. We've got chicken, balti, uh, savoya potatoes, I don't know what that is. Red snapper, cauliflower cheese. Oh, they've got a tofu makani. Some steamed veggies, Mexican rice, a vegetarian chili, beef chili, tacos. We've got honey glazed roasted gammon, chicken burritos and flautas. So we've definitely got a Mexican theme going on here. All your breads daily pasta, 
sausage and mash. There's some gravy here as well. Some margarita pizza, fish fingers and French fries. Got it all going on. Happy pieces of fruit and veg. Oh, look at that. How cute. Oh, and this is a great idea. Nachos and tortilla wraps. So you've got all your condiments here. Help yourself. Oh, and look at this. I love it. Well, I think that's a bloody good variety of food for a buffet. I'm starting with both curries and chili with some rice and fries. Hmm. Everything on my plate is actually very good. The buna in particular is full of flavor and spice. That's an absolute win for me. Oh my goodness. I need more of that buna in my life. So I went and got more. And a little bit of salad. Health, 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 darlings. And don't forget, at the buffet, you can help yourself to beer, cider, and wine. It's all in. So I'm not getting room service after all. I've brought back some bread rolls, cheeses, cucumber, butter, mantequilla, and also um, a chutney and some whole grain mustard. It's okay if you want to spend an evening in your cabin. I promise you, you need to do what you want. I always say this, don't worry about what other people think you should be doing. For example, some people out there will probably be thinking, oh, I wish he'd go to the theater and show us some of the shows. Is that you? Tough. I'm staying in. I'm watching a movie. I'm eating me bread rolls, cheese, and pickle. Let's pop this outside now. Dim those lights. Actually, come to think of it, these Morella cruises are very port heavy, and I think that's fantastic. You get to see so many places. The flip side of that is it can be quite tiring if, like me, you're out all day uh, covering a lot of ground and in the evenings you're out and about on the ship enjoying yourself, lots to eat, quite a bit to drink, etc. If you need to take a step back, relax, chill out one evening, go for it, my loves. I'm actually really pleased that's what I chose to do tonight. I feel like I am recharging my batteries bloody handsomely. And whilst I've got your attention, let's talk a little bit about Morella Cruz's food. Because on my Facebook page, I've had a few less than complimentary comments from people who have not enjoyed. Uh, oh! <laughs> and whilst I've got your attention, let's talk a little bit about the quality of food on board Morella Discovery. Well, a few of you have posted on my Facebook page expressing your concerns about the quality of food. One person said they felt when they were on board it was terrible. Well, first of all, food is a highly subjective matter, isn't it? What one person likes, another doesn't. What one person thinks is high quality, another person wouldn't touch with a barge pole. What I can say is that every meal I've had on board so far this week has been at least good. In fact, some of the food I've had in the main dining rooms has been better than what I had on a recent cruise voyage on board Cunard. I do think the quality of food on any cruise line can vary depending on the chefs and the turnaround of crew working in the galleys. I've been on the same cruise ship a number of times, for example, and the food has varied significantly between cruise to cruise. I'm happy to report, though, that all is well on board Morella Discovery this week. In fact, my dinner at the buffet tonight, I bloody loved those curries. I really did. Very flavoursome indeed. Long may this last. Right, that's it from me tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow in Crete. We're going to Greece. Tonight, I love all of you. <laughs> Good night. Oh, no, I don't love you. Good night. Mwah. Welcome to Greek's largest and most populous island.
Good morning everybody and welcome to Heraklion Crete. It's Greece lightning baby. Okay we are docked in a working part of the port which means you can't just walk off independently. What you need to do is to head over here to take a free shuttle which will take you to the cruise terminal and from there you can walk into Heraklion in about 15-20 minutes. Right, let's check out the snack shack for breakfast. They do quick serve there. Plenty of space around the pool. It's a port day. All right, well, this is the funky little shack. Open for breakfast and lunch, snacks throughout the day. Let's have a peep. Bakery, fruit cups. Ooh, sandwiches as well, look. Basically just help yourself. Health, 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 darlings. Alrighty, so they've got a tomato, avocado and roast vegetables and muffin. Pastries and muffins. Nothing wrong with a bit of grab and go in the morning, is there? <laughs> Life force, babies. Another beautiful morning. What a surprise. Calimera. Oh, by the way, four laps of this jogging trap equates to one whole mile it's perfect for you joggers who go round and round and round and round if like me you can be a little bit forgetful i recommend taking a picture of your all aboard time before you depart the ship don't want to miss the boat i mean ship boat ship canoe good morning my darling no kiss this morning no Right, time for me to disembark. I am on the Exploring Crete excursion. So I have a confession to make. I have no idea what this trip is about, where we're going, what we're doing. None. And I love that. <laughs> Just before you disembark, by the way, on deck one, there's a little stand here where you can um, pick up some drinks and snacks for your excursion, which I think is a great idea. Come on, let's step foot ashore on the island of Crete. Are you ready for this? Get your feet ready. Boom. Watch where you're walking, Jamie, and don't get run over. We're walking, we're walking, we are walking. Right, bus number seven. Crete is everything but flat. Well, first stop is the winery. But can you hear that noise? I've never heard cricket so loud as this, ever. Oh, ideal second breakfast. Oh, we've got a cinema. Right, and now the most important bit, wine tasting. We got three to taste. Alrighty, here are the three wines we're gonna taste here at Minos. All right, we are starting with a Greek white wine. Oh, and also a little bit of bread, tomato and olive oil. Yamas. Yeah, it's actually much lighter and crisp than I thought it was going to be. Mm. I might finish that one off. Second breakfast. Mm. That's good. Mm. Those tomatoes are so fresh and sweet. Delicious. Oh, and very good prices for bottles of wine here, folks. Well done, Minos. This red is described as deeply and very dark ruby colored with a violet rim that indicates its youth. Just like me. I don't have a violet rim. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. I'm not actually a fan of reds. I'll give it a go. Oh, again. Quite light actually, wasn't expecting that. For something so dark, ruby-like with violet rim, it tastes quite good. And the third one, deep aroma of dried red fruit, tobacco leaves, dried herbs, sour cherry and cassis. Yamas. Kind of like woody, if that makes any sense. No, I don't know anything about these kind of wines. Woody wine. Thank you very much. I've never heard of a moisturiser that has been created using grapes. Well, here it is. Patrons, I've got you covered. 75 postcards from Crete coming up. I love a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 
gorgeous shop, although it looks like it's been ransacked by our coach. By the way, it's a few degrees cooler here on the island of Crete um, compared to where we've just been in Turkey. About 29, 30 degrees today. The tree has shakes and they happen to take South Africa. Next stop try some local delicacies. I don't know how to say that, by the way. Okay, I do know how to say it. Yeah. Is that actually... Abelos. Abelos. And Abelos means a vine plant. I'm learning. I am... The only thing they have on the tables is to put on the pancake. Spinach, feta. Oh, oh my God, that is so good. Mm. That's really tasty. It is so light, so delicate, beautiful. Mm. The pastry is so flaky and buttery. Inside this one, we've got almost like a, a sweet cheese. Again, delicious. Breakfast number three. This is a great tour so far. <laughs> like all my favorite things. Beautiful scenery, wine, and food. I really have become a tea drinker this cruise. Don't forget the pinky. Oh my goodness, if tea could be savoury, this is the one. It has rosemary in it. This pancake, as they call it, is absolutely divine. It's not sweet at all. You can add honey though. What the hell is this? It's called raki, which is a little bit like ouzo. And that's quite a lot for one person, I would suggest. Apparently, it has to be sipped. What? Yamas, again. Oh, wow. Oh, <sighs> happy breakfast time. Very nice setting, folks. And now a visit to the town of Arjanes. You know it, don't you? No? No, me neither. Arjanes is a picturesque village built on the slopes of Mount Hutas, 15 kilometers south of Heraklion. What a beautiful little town this is, folks. Arjanes has a long wine producing tradition. Hurrah! At an altitude of 400 meters, it embraces a fertile plain with olive groves and vineyards. And we are now back in Heraklion, where we began our tour. Heraklion is the capital of this Greek island of Crete. Oh, there are some awesome bars and cafes here. Guarding the city's Venetian port is the 16th century fortress. It's the fourth largest city in Greece with a population of 180,000. Oh my god, I didn't see that. There's a Starbucks. I'm going in. I want iced coffee right now. I'm so hot. I'm melting. Wow, I've never had my name written in Greek before. What do you reckon? Jamie? Only 35 minutes uh, free time here in Heraklion on this tour. Having said that, you can stay behind if you want to and make your own way back uh, to the ship. And the guide will make sure you know exactly how to get there. Scotcho! Oh, I see you, baby. Hey, shaking that aft. Shaking that aft. So this excursion came to 40 pounds, and I think that's bloody good value. I really do. And now time to go back to the ship. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, we've got a barbecue situation going on later today. It's all going on up on deck, isn't it? Definitely a busy one. Having said that, there are spare lounges stacked up. I believe you just help yourself. The old crazy golf. I've said previously, just rock up, grab a club and knock your balls about. They've got a climbing wall on board. No extra charge to use this. Just check your cruise news for opening times. And at the aft, you've got the quiet area. That's why I'm whispering. The pods are awesome, by the way. And welcome to the glass house area, folks. 
multi-purpose here. First of all, in the evenings, they have the Glass House restaurant, which is included in your cruise fare. Can't book that one in advance. You've also got this beautiful indoor pool and there's also a bar plus a Buffy section. Did I say Buffy? <laughs> I'm thinking of the vampire slayer. Buffet section for your lunch. Pizza, chicken, panini, fries, salads. They also do paninis there, which I think is a great idea. And fries with peri-peri, yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And by the way, those fries are awesome, especially with extra peri-peri sauce on the side. And an adults only area between two and 5 p.m. Ooh. All right, a little bit fresher than the other pool, but still perfectly acceptable. And it is also scorch in here. Very nice indeed, folks. What a lovely way to spend an afternoon, eh? We got showers in here as well, folks. And you can help yourself to hot and cold drinks. And lastly, we've got two hot tubs. Well, I think this is a bloody lovely space. And late afternoon, back outside. Gorgeous. And help yourself to drinks from the Travelling Drinks Trolley. It's all ink. Beautiful evening. Just stunning. Cheers, my loves. You'll never believe what this is. Oh, my beloved coffee port overlooking the atrium. <sighs> oh, who's this waiting for us back in the cabin? All right, my loves, we are going all out nautical tonight. Let's do this. You fancy dinner with me tonight? No? Tomorrow? No? Right, main dining room for me tonight. Oh, I like this seat right in the center. Awesome. Alrighty, let's check out the menu tonight in the main dining room. Question is, of course, what do you reckon I'm gonna have? And if you were here, what would you choose? Go on. Drop your comments below, my darlings, because I'd bloody love to hear from you. Oh, it's still going. God bless the bread service. Thank you for asking, though. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. You know what we do with this? Listen, I've said it before, and now I'm actually near the end of this trip. I'll say it again. Every single member of staff, of crew on board who I've come into contact with have been exceptional, without exception, exceptional, except the fact that I'm saying exceptional a lot. It's a lot of accepts. They were awesome. Oh, I do apologize. I haven't mentioned these codes, have I? Let's get a little pinky out. V for vegetarian, VO means vegan option, uh, GF gluten free. The E is vegan and GO is gluten-free option available. Oh, by the way, if you're on the premium drinks package, uh, you can choose wine from a different wine list. I've just gone with a regular Savvy Blanc, my favorite. Incidentally, look how much room there is between the tables for two here. I've been on some cruise lines where that is not the case. Already, I went with a beef consomme. Did you guess that? It's got two little meatballs in it, look. Two glorious balls of goodness. Okay, that's a very clean broth. Uh, it does lack flavor, having said that. I like it, but I don't love it. Next up, I've got the courgette frittata with tomato coulis, and I think this looks great. Oh, that's more like it. I've got bags of flavour. The tomato coulis is pretty deep 
rich flavour, but also a nice hint of sweetness. I like it. By the way, people up on the balcony don't think I haven't noticed you pointing at me. I see you. Holy shawarma, this is huge. I went for the almond crusted tofu uh, with the garlic and tomato uh, sauce, stir fried veg. It comes with broccoli, cauliflower, and jasmine rice. All right, not my usual kind of main course, and that's why I went for it. Personal preference here, I prefer my tofu to be a bit firmer, but uh, the almond crust is absolutely delicious. Love the tomato base and the um, stir-fried vegetables, a little bit of ginger, a bit of garlic, a bit of chili, but it all works very well together. It's good. One of the great things about the Chewy Navigate app is that you can give immediate feedback on your experiences, including mentioning any crew who have gone above and beyond for you. Ah, oh, well, that was a very nice meal, awesome service, and it's sunset time. It never gets old, does it, this sunset lap? Oh, give it a little squeeze. Ooh. Seriously though, stunningly beautiful. Just like you. Come on you lot, watch that sunset with me. It's the live lounge and we got the saxophonist back. He loves it, a bit of Morella Discovery and they love a bit of him. We got casino life going on here. Someone was just having a meltdown. And we got pianist in the atrium. It's all going on. Same pianist, different angle because you know what? Perspectives and angles are everything, my darlings. Okay, you'll never believe this. The Wi-Fi was just good enough when I did a little test with Matthew for me to go live on YouTube. I'm going to do a pop-up. Or going to try. I'm so scared. What if it doesn't work? That's oh, fine. They'll understand, won't they? Well, you'll understand, won't you? Yay, it worked for 24 minutes. Go check it out on my channel. Oh, hey, oh, look what's going on up here. It's deck party time. All ink drinks. Oh look, they've even made up some cocktails. That's awesome. Cheers, everybody. Wow, apparently late night snacks takes place at the glass house. I've been going to the buffet thinking, oh, they don't do late night snacks on board. I thought I read it somewhere. Ugh, stupid me. Obviously, I don't want late night snacks. I'm here to show you what they look like. No, I don't really. I'm not having any. Oh, look, they've got curry. They've got fries, burgers. Choose your toppings. They've got deli section as well. Okay, back in my cabin. Comfy's on. It is the end of... Oh! I know this is very out of character for me, but look what made its way back to my cabin. Oh my God, curry and chips. Honestly, I wasn't gonna have anything. What a bloody lush curry and chips in bed. Oh, it was actually very good. Right, that is definitely the end of part two. Um, you've endured more than enough, haven't you? <laughs> However, there is a part three because tomorrow we're heading to Rhodes, yes. And then the next day back to Marmaris and of course a flight home to contend with. Don't go anywhere. Here's what's coming up. Cue the sizzled, sizzling sizzle reel. Coming up in this, the final part, we'll be heading to Rhodestown for a submarine adventure, exploring everything the old town has to offer, eating ashore. I mean, of course we'll be eating ashore. Trying out one of the local beaches, a mere five minute walk from the ship, a night on it and finding out if I am still undrunkable. Multiple reasons as to why I absolutely adore the crew on board Morella Voyager. I'll also be showing you the disembarkation process, transfers, navigating Dalaman Airport, a detailed look and review of our flight home with Chewy Airlines, my journey back to amazing Stoke, the land of dreams, 
and of course those all important reflections. For now, good night and goodbye. Don't forget, I bloody love you, 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 but not you. Mwah. Thank you so much for your support. We surpassed 30,000 subscribers. You are awesome. Today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four, and five patrons. And oh my goodness gracious me, my lovers, you could also become a patron. Just search patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. I'm waiting for you. If you'd like a personalized message for yourself or a loved one, just head to cameo.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, and of course, right here, right now on YouTube.